go again. Sunday, back at it. Got some more fiberglass to do before I can start doing the body filler. I gotta do this bottom piece now. And uh, sometimes I wonder why I film this little stuff because it's really not that important. But the thing about it is that it takes lots of time and you gotta like think about what you're doing. So it's part of the build, therefore I will put it in. So this bottom piece needs to be fiberglassed. It needs to be fiberglassed onto that little piece of fleece that I got curling up over the top of the body. And then um, that thing will be ready. Then we can body fill the whole thing and start sanding like crazy. All right, a couple days sanding later, and here's what we're looking at. All that sanding is pretty much done. I'm about ready to wrap this. I think I'm going to wrap it the same white material that's going to be inside. It's like an off-white. All right, we got the brand new door panels right here. They're about to go in. I got some matching material. It's an off-white. And I'm going to wrap these pieces. The trunk's going to finally look good. Sink for the screws. Got plenty of them. Every three inches on center. All right, the woofers are in. Got the trim rings back on. They're nice and tight. Got the little green light stuff up in the corner. Wires hooked back up so the box itself will glow. But now it's time to work on the logo on the plexiglass. Something like this, except for it's not going to be gray. It's going to be clear, it's going to look etched when it's all done, and it's going to glow. So let's head on over to the computer. So we're going to use some of this instead of the gray material. I've got this already loaded into the program. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to have to put that in reverse. That way it will come through the glass the right direction. And we'll go ahead and hit send. So this is essentially the Chevelle sticker. You'll see here in a second when I peel it back. I don't know if you can see that or not. 
my favorite part yet my most hated part only because now the plexiglass is vulnerable to scratching and damage but it sure is going to look good here in a second I can't see it, but there's a little channel that's now cut in here. What that channel does, it allows me to put this LED strip in there nice and flush. And shoot it straight up into the plexi. You can put it right on the edge, but to me it's better with it being flush. So that's how I prefer to do it. Alright, that's done. Time to clean out some of this trim that goes around the plexi. And I got some high grade vinyl that I used on Chicken's Caddy a while ago. Got some scraps left over that'll work perfect on this. We'll see how it looks. Little trim piece for the amp rack. Gonna wrap it in the same stuff that I wrapped the plexiglass trim piece in. It's kind of a delicate little trim piece, but hopefully it'll look good. Alright, now I spent most of the last week sanding and making sure everything was right because I knew I wanted to finish this thing up and get it wrapped. And you just cannot wrap over uneven surfaces and everything else it's got to be right so even though it was wrapped and not painted I still had to put a lot of work in and those little flanges on the inside those things were a pain in the ass but I finally got them right and uh, another thing that's tricky about this all this shit has to come back out at any time not the box but the trim so I can get to the amplifiers and everything if I need to I probably won't ever need to but just in case I don't want to lock myself in for life so anyways here goes the update that's what it's looking like don't mind the wires in that corner, that's just for the LED on the plexiglass window that's getting ready to be ran properly probably tomorrow. I just finally got all this stuff done today. So, just a little bit different than when it came in. Sounds spectacular and now it looks a little bit better. So, check this out. Now don't mind the wire hanging off over there. That's just hooked up to a little battery so I could test out the LEDs, make sure it's all working. Tomorrow that'll be all hidden, of course, obviously. Don't break the 
Next up, we got the rear deck. I'm gonna start building that, and then we got the mech man alternator. And then I'll finally be done. Of course, we got brand new door panels sitting over there, ready to go into. So this thing's gonna be brand new on the inside when we're all done. Almost brand new. 